Hello, you're joining us from the set of the latest slow-mo for Earth Unplugged and as we were by a swimming pool I thought it might be an apt time to answer a question from Jared Hatton. Do sharks actually attack humans and if so, where do they do it? Well, sharks we always think of as man-eaters but actually considering the billions amount of man-hours we spend in the water there were only 72 unprovoked shark attacks on humans last year and only three fatalities. The three main species that attack humans tend to be tiger sharks, bull sharks and great whites. Bull sharks are particularly aggressive, so they really will have a go at anything that's in the water nearby. Tiger sharks are called the rubbish dumps of the ocean. They actually will eat anything, which includes number plates, Yorkshire terrier, I believe was eaten, a garbage can. They literally just do eat everything, and so we'll just have a nibble on just about anything that's going past. Not really aggressive necessarily, just, just hungry. And great whites, they're just such big animals. The biggest great white was 6.4 metres long. A huge, huge animal. So even if it's just a test bite, that's probably enough to almost chop us in half. And the trouble is, great whites tend to attack from beneath. They're kind of the main man that people think of. And because they attack from beneath, they normally are looking out for seals. They eat large mammals. And big seals silhouetted the surface look a lot like surfers or people in wetsuits. So a lot of it is mistaken identity. And sadly, we're just too small and puny to, to handle even a little love tap from great white. Last year, 2014, there were two attacks that were fatal, sadly, in Australia and one in South Africa. Um, I believe they were all great white shark attacks and so the best thing to do really is um, just be wary of the fact that you're swimming with these fantastic predators. You don't necessarily have to be scared of them but just try and be sensible so don't swim with bait in your pockets if you're a fisherman, uh, try not to swim among seals particularly if uh, marine mammals nearby are looking panicked that probably means there's a shark about. If you see a shark don't get in the water <laughs> uh, and don't thrash around on the surface they tend to be very sensitive to sounds and water movements and it looks like an animal in stress and they might come and have a go. But humans actually kill between 20 and 100 million sharks each year. So the ratios are absolutely extraordinary. Three fatalities for humans, 100 million for sharks. And they're hemorrhaging all, all around the world. We're losing sharks all over the place and more or less every species. So don't think about sharks as man eaters. Think about them as fantastic top of the chain predators. And sometimes it's best to keep out of their way. At 10, we'll start at the beginning. Sharks have been in our ocean for 400 million years and survived five mass extinctions. The great white shark has 3,000 serrated teeth and can exert a mighty 17,790 newtons of force with its bite. It's been said that some sharks can use over 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. New teeth are continually grown. They line up in rows and move forward as if they're on a conveyor belt. 